everyone welcome to our video the topic of our video is division restoring algorithm we are the students of vishwakarma institute of technology we are j3 group presenting you this topic the member of our group is rohan prathamesh anushka saloni dhawal and raj we all six will explain the whole topic throughout this video so let's get started this is the content of presentation so basically the slides contains introduction variable and their meanings flow chart methodology examples hardware representation uses and applications now what is division restoring algorithm division restoring algorithm is used to perform division of two unsigned integers unsigned integers indicate non negative integers including zero the decimal integers are converted to binary level and then the operations are performed on them this algorithm is very useful to perform integer division in computer system where division hardware is not possible and software technique is more efficient here is the method of converting decimal into binary Converting decimal into binary using successive division involves repeatedly dividing the decimal number by 2 and keeping track of the remainders until the question becomes zero. The remainders in the reverse order give the binary equivalent of the decimal number. Here we have performed successive division on 29. After dividing it by 2, we have get the remainders 11101. So the representation of 29 in binary form is 11101. so to understand how does this algorithm works we need to understand flowchart of algorithm and to understand flowchart we need to be familiar with variables and their meanings so the first variables we have is a a stands for accumulator accumulator is a register in which alu results are stored so alu means arithmetic logic unit next is m m stands for divisor divisor is a number by which another number is divided third is q q stands for dividend Q dividend is a number on which division operation is performed. Next is n. N stands for number of bit. A bit is a smallest unit of data that computer can store a one byte. One byte means eight bits. It is the image of accumulator, and this is the formula for dividend. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So coming to the flowchart, we have to initialize the declared variable. Then there are some steps we have to execute like C plus A Q A is equal to A minus one, checking the sign of A and decrementing n by one, and checking if n is equal to zero or not. So coming to the methodology part, after starting the algorithm, we have to initialize the declared variable. So first variable is accumulator, which has to initialize with the value of a zero. Then there is a yum for a divisor, Q for a dividend, and yum represents the number of bits. The next step is a shift left AQ. In this step, we have to shift values of AQ to the left by one bit. We will further visualize this step in the example part. So next step is a is equal to a minus one, which simply means a is equal to a plus minus m, where minus m is the second complement of m. In the next step, there is a an, which stands for a most significant bit. If an which is the most significant bit is 1 then q0 which is the least significant bit becomes a 0 and a is restored and this is why this algorithm is named as division restoring algorithm and if a n is 0 then q0 becomes a 1 and in the next step uh, n is equal to n minus 1 where n is decremented by 1 and if value of a n is equal to 0 then and only then the next step will continue otherwise again the again the process get repeated from the shift left aq once cn becomes zero quotient will be shown in the q and the remainder will be in a so this is how we will see our result and then algorithm will stop so let's move on to the example of division restoring algorithm which is 9 by 4 so first we have to convert the 9 and 4 into the binary format as mentioned above Next we will declare m as divisor and q as dividend and set accumulator a to 0 and store the value of 9 by 4 in it. Next step is finding the two's complement of m that is minus m. For that we will first find the one's complement and add 1 to the one's complement to find the two's complement. So let's implement the algorithm. 
So we have taken four bits initially and set M, A, Q and actions and operations which we are going to perform and we have initialized our variables. Next step is shift left A, Q. Here we will shift one bit at a time toward the left side and the vacancy is created at the last that is LSB of Q. Next we will perform the operation A equal to A minus M. If the rightmost bit of A after the operation is 1, then we will set Q0 equal to 0 and restore the initial value of A. If the rightmost bit of A is 0, then we will store the Q0 equal to 1 and continue with the value of A which we obtain and decrement the loop. Hence here we have decremented the bits to 3 and carry on the operation. So in the similar manner, we are going to carry on this operation until our N that is number of bits comes up to 0. So as you can see the operation is continued and when number of bits that is n equal to 0 we will get our answer in a and q that is a is our remainder and q is our quotient. So here 0001, 0010 are the binary values of quotient and remainder obtained and when we convert them into the decimal values we will get remainder 1 and quotient 2. Hence 9 equals to 4 into 2 plus 1 that is dividend equal to quotient into divisor plus 1. In this way, we will implement the division restoring algorithm. Now coming to the hardware representation of division restoring algorithm. As shown in diagram, we can clearly see three separate register and one adder or subtractor. All are having their separate function. Let's see one by one. So first is M register. It stores the value of divisor. Second is A register. A stands for accumulator. It is a special function register which store the result of ALU operation. Here accumulator contain the remainder. The third is Q register. Q contain the quotient and it is initialized with 0. In above block diagram, we can see a V-like structure. It is nothing but a adder or subtractor. It is used to perform ALU operation on A and M through a feedback path. In computer hardware, we are having only adder or subtractor. We can't perform division directly. So that's why restoring division algorithm exists. Now let's come to the uses and applications of division restoring algorithm. The first use of division restoring algorithm is digital signal processing. Division restoring algorithm is used in various applications of DSP such as filter design, spectrum analysis and image processing. The design of digital filters often requires division operations to be performed and the division restoring algorithm can be used to perform these operations efficiently. Spectrum analysis is used in digital signal processing to analyze the frequency content of a signal. In image processing, it is used for image compression and reconstruction where division operations are needed to calculate the pixel values. The second use of division restoring algorithm is that it is used in high speed machines. Due to high speed and accuracy, it is used in applications which requires high speed division with a fixed point or floating point representation of numbers. Division restoring algorithm is used in high speed machines to perform division operations efficiently. The division restoring algorithm can be used to reduce the computational complexity of these operations and improve the efficiency of high speed machines. The division restoring algorithm can be implemented in hardware as a dedicated circuit or in software as an algorithm. The third use of division restoring algorithm is in channel equalization of communication systems. Distorted signals cause interference, attenuation, etc. To recover original signals, division restoring algorithm is used in channel equalization of communication systems. It can improve the performance of communication systems by reducing the errors caused by channel distortion. The algorithm can be used in various communication systems such as wireless communication, wired communication and digital communication. It can also be used in various communication standards such as LTE, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to improve the reliability and efficiency of the communication systems. In summary, the division restoring algorithm is a useful technique for performing division operations efficiently and accurately. 